guys hello and welcome back to a brand new disney heroes batman video we have a blue coliseum crate right in front of us i've never actually really used that character but he makes some scary sounds um like most of the characters do in this game which will haunt your dreams but i wanted to get straight in today and just listen to this anyway i want to get straight in today and um test out the new character so i, I want to do my normal review where i pit her against a ridiculous team and see if she can come through the strongest now a lot of you yesterday um thank you for all the support on that previous video i did um it did really well on likes these update ones so guys let's see if we can get 60 likes on this video now a new hero joins the battle so it's honey lemon dew and i haven't taken a proper look at her at all actually um in this game uh, with you guys so i'm gonna just break down her skills very quickly and um what are those and see what we've got but she does look pretty cool so obviously we've got the frozen large glob of sticky gloop dealing the damage so i like the idea of this reducing attack speed then we've got more fantastic damage throws a glob of glue glob of goo at the closest enemy dealing damage to them if there's a frozen or blinded enemy Honey Lemon will instead target them and also increase their freeze and blind. So this is something which I think is a bit mental because it's not by like two seconds or three seconds, 16 seconds. So she's going to further increase someone's freeze by 16 seconds. That's pretty mental, uh, it, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's pretty ridiculous once per wave when an enemy comes within melee range of honey rose she secure herself in a shield look at that that actually looks pretty cool as well of gloop and then the basic attacks and sticky mess increase so her basic attacks increase freeze nah that's mental that is actually mental so let's just jump straight in and give her a go because i was kind of not expecting her to be that good like, maybe when I first read her, I was a little bit underwhelmed. But, I mean, if you do main freeze teams, which I do have a very bad feeling that freeze teams are going to come back. I used to hate versing them so much, I just wouldn't bother if I ever saw one. So let's get in. I haven't done sparring for a while. Let's see what we've, let's see what people have got to say here. So let's be fair, I'm just going to pit her straight away against this Mr. Incredible. Not a particularly well-leveled Mr. Incredible, but it'll be quite... What the heck? That looked too realistic, that um smoke. Look at... Alright, she's got some legs on her. I'll allow that. 1.8 million damage. She just did it in the... I wasn't... I was too distracted by her... um By her baguette legs. I got... I wasn't paying much attention there. Let's watch that again. So she comes in with this bizarre smoke effect, which is too realistic for this game. And then she runs along, hits her bag... A million damage hits bag okay that's already pretty exceptional and not a huge amount happened there but that's pretty exceptional um i hope you enjoy hammer is in here too so let's say okay let's put them against this team so i want to do it step by step here so now we're going to go up by well there's three people well it still shouldn't be a winnable fight but let's take a look so here we go Glob straight away, 400,000. Shield, 6 million, 12 million. I am sorry. What just happened? What's going on? That, that's not right. Hang on, hang on, something, hang on, something ain't right. Did you just see somehow the whole game sort of lagged out? Let's put her against uh, like an Atchikata Freeze. She just did a special and threw the balls and it did 8 million damage to each hero. Obviously, I understand she's fully leveled up, guys, but that's not right. And when she put her shield on, she received about 20 million damage. Let's, tr let's try again against this team. They're not as attack orientated. 1 million damage with a normal attack. See her shield. She's got a shield on now. Just she accepts that. That's not right. 
Look, her health isn't even moving. Nah. When she unleashes a special, something goes on there. That's not right. Let, let's let's go back to his dash team here because dash is one of those characters who you shouldn't be able to kill in a 1v1 let's have another look speed up a little bit she comes in little look okay so one million damage throws the ping hits her now she gets her shield up six million 15 million so she managed to evade about 15 million damage and then the weird sort of slow-mo thing happens uh, oh What's happening? <laughs> Where he's slowed down, it glitches everything out. 7 million damage. That. Alright, how much damage did she actually receive then? What? That's not right. That is not right. Guys, normally, a character special is not that OP, but it's her special... Okay, let's try and get on a team of, of five. A team of five. We, she can easily take out three overpowered characters. So can she do this team? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, let's see what happens. Let's maybe just stick Meg on so maybe she could take one more shot. Uh, just to keep her alive until she gets her special out. But let's have a look. She throws that and he does a million damage. She's got a shield on. She's into a gloop there. Oh, and that slowed down the front row there. And then she comes out, special. Ding, ding, ding. Basically kills everyone in one shot. Special again. Nah, she took she took Mulan out. She took Mulan out. I'm terrified. She could she she could count on my favourite character. Alright, she uh, guys, I definitely recommend working on her. I'm definitely gonna add her into my queue. Oh, Maximus is still quite a nice counter for her though. But I still am definitely gonna put her into my queue to level up guys as you all know at the moment i'm working on upgrading um ian but i would not undermine her like she is quite scary but yeah I i'm continuing ian at the moment just doshing for his skills which just takes too long it's annoying they need to bring in some better way to manage the skill levels because you know when you're level 215 to get someone's skills to 215 you're looking at like a week of work. It's just, it's just not on. Do my um. And I wish this button would just auto craft everything as well, because this just seems like an unnecessary step. What the sound? The sound the characters make. Oh, well, I'm one off. Now that's not right. Can I get this one? Nah, not yet. Okay, that's cool. And I've got that. I'll just auto equip some mods on him as well. See whatever I've got. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's kind of brought him up a little bit. And I wonder if I can get some more of his shards in the um, guild shop. Oh, if I got some stamina out of there. Uh, which I did. I can get that last... Stop. I can get that last one I need to get. There we go. Lovely. Cool. So that's done a nice little push there. I haven't really decided what disc I'm going to do for Ian yet. When a blinded enemy basic, basic attacks Ian on ally, Ian gains energy. That's pretty decent. Um, whenever an ally receives Reflect, Ian also receives... I don't really care about that one. I've never really had a team which has Reflect, so that would be a bit of a waste. But um, yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm probably most likely going to work on this one here. Um, because that would make more sense, in my opinion. And I guess... Um, I did a mission. Who's that? Oh, that's there. I'm doing that one for Beast. I don't know if I need to do that one anymore, you know? So I'm, I'm going to bin that one off. And then um, put this one on, just so I can start to get some of the uh, shards for it. Nice and easy like that. Lovely. That's going to start to get his shards. And then I guess I should do one for Cheshire Cat as well and just start to pull Cheshire. I know I've, I haven't even got him to the stage yet, but obviously it's quite important to just make sure you start to level them up. So um, let me work out which one's the best for him as well for my playstyle. Sapped enemies damaged by Cheshire Cat are stunned. Don't really care about that. Um, this one does a better skill, uh, a better skill power increase and a better basic damage increase when an enemy goes invisible the remaining cooldown of head toss oh that's brilliant against randall when cheshire cat stands an invisible enemy okay that's definitely i can't upgrade that quite a lot for some reason that's definitely the one i'm going to level up so let's put him into a mission with uh 
So who am I going to have to knock off for that one? Let's have a look. Oh, he's already on it anyway. Yeah, so I didn't realize that, but I've already got that on the loop down there. It's fantastic. We've got Maxis one's going. We've got Ian's one going. We've got Mickey Mouse's one going. We've got Miguel's. We've got Shafar's. We've got Zerg's. I don't know why I'm doing Zerg, but we've got Tigger. We've got uh, Meg, Pumba, Maui, Animal. Because you might as well get as many of these on as you possibly can. Like, um, oh, it's the best way to do it is to basically just go, okay, who am I using? And who do I need to level up in the future? Because you don't want to waste time sort of not obtaining their shards, if you see what I mean. So you might as well just have them in the... Especially now the mission mode's completely changed. It's important to have characters in there just to start to level up. Like, Oogie Boogie's a good character. I should really have a mission on for him. But let's see if I can do that. See what disc. Scared enemy speeds are reduced. That's pretty good. Armor to Oogie and HP, skill power. Each time Oogie uses snake eyes, Oogie gains one point. Okay, that's ridiculously good. So it's with um, Captain Hook. Might as well get that one going. Um, get another one in there. Because as you guys know, this all takes a ridiculous amount of time. So you might as well have as many characters in the missions as you can. Um, just to start to get their moves leveled up and stuff. Because I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a look at Honeydew. Quick sum summary. I think she's a phenomenal character. And you'd be mental not to use her. Oh, we just got our guild rank stuff as well. 27 million. Uh, well done, guys. If any of you in the guild are watching, we've absolutely crushed it. I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one.